Now welcome back to another episode of No Money Spent Battle Royale. In our previous run, we went 6-2, and two, therefore we got ourselves the 3 game reward and 6 game reward. That was Tommy Edmund and Aaron Nola. Both of them have been added to the squad. If you're new here and this is your first episode, make sure to click on the channel and click on playlist. Click No Money Spent Battle Royale and watch episode number 0, which is the introductory episode that I explain the rules to this series. Now, if you do watch this video and end up enjoying today's content and haven't hit that red subscribe, button already make sure you also hit that red subscribe button join the family and also we're not going for a like goal you guys just go ahead and surprise me there follow me on all social medias at blade miss same way it's spelled on the youtube channel username and then last but not least also click on the channel community tab and interact with me there especially if you watch no money spent rank seasons because that's where i ask you guys questions all the time now our first option here it's either going to be Sandberg or Willie. Obviously, second base is a lot weaker than first base, so we'll take the diamond second baseman. Now, Forrest Whitley, he's not too bad. I like Gary Sanchez. I like his diamond card. I think we go Gary Sanchez here. I mean, this Trey Mancini is not too bad for right field, but Gary Sanchez definitely is not a man you want to go ahead and pass up on. Now, I don't really like Danny Duffy too much, I'll be honest with you all. I feel like his pitches are a little too readable for me to actually go ahead and pick him up. Charlie, he's not bad in terms of shortstop, has all right defense, and hitting stats are not too bad either. I definitely want to upgrade the shortstop position, although before this bronze round, I have no problem picking him up. Luke Voigt would love to have him at first base. We're hitting 500 with him. Yeah, we don't have enough at-bats, but he is a pretty good hitter. On all the accounts that I've used him on so we can go with Joaquin here or Luke Voigt I think we'll go with Joaquin we want to get a good bullpen arm we want to get a good bullpen maybe not the craziest bullpen in the world to start things off but we want a pretty good one to start things off as well so we got ourselves Mike Fears Trevor May is another bullpen arm you don't generally pass up on I usually pride myself into having two silver relievers so that's what we're gonna go with here basically Marcelo Osuna, he's going to be joining the squad as well. Probably the best option that we had there. Hunter Wood, what do you throw? Nothing too overpowering. Not much that I really enjoy in terms of pitch speeds or pitching repertoire. So we'll take third base bronze around here. Lance McCullers, knuckle curve and two fastballs with the changeup. We'll pick him up as our first silver. And then we have Robert Stock. So pretty overpowering fastball. His walks per nine isn't too bad. I think we'll pick him up here because I don't want to waste the bronze round on a center fielder and definitely don't want to waste it on a right fielder either. We get ourselves a lefty, not the best pitch speeds or arsenal, but we'll take him as well. Jorge Soler, that's going to be our right fielder. So that's what I was aiming for. We can take Reese, put him in left field. But John Gray is also a pretty good starter, so we'll take him as starter number two. And then this is a difficult decision because I like Pedro Baez, and at the same time, I like using Kenta Maeda, even though it looks like he got absolutely torched last time we used him. But I do like Kenta Maeda a lot here, so I think we go with Kenta Maeda. Take the starting pitchers out of the way, basically, and then focus on the lineup. So first base, we can take a common round. Don't really want to take a common round for the center fielder, but... If we absolutely have to, you have to take the better defensive one and the one with higher speed. So what are the positions that we need to upgrade? We need to upgrade short, center, and then third base and first base. All right, we have two gold rounds, three silvers to do that with. So short, center, third base, and first base. That Chipper Jones, I thought he was going to be a monster. He's not a monster. We're going to take Sander Bogarts, put him at short. I like here Victor, but at the same time, G-Man is probably not a bad idea. We could definitely have him at first base, even though he's a bronze. He's probably going to be pretty good there. We get ourselves Luke Void again, so never mind, G-Man. We're going to have Luke at first. So, we have the first base situation figured out. We have shortstop figured out. We still need to figure out center field, and we still need to figure out third base. But here, I am going to go ahead and pick up David Robertson now that's sad to see because if it wasn't for Luke I definitely would have picked up Daniel but right now picking up Daniel is not the smartest decision we'll take Alex here even though he's not exactly the best bullpen arm in the world either Giovanni Gallegos we just picked up a shortstop so this is what we're gonna do actually 
So we're gonna move Sandro Borgarts to third base. We're gonna put Anderton Simmons at short. And then after that, I think we'll be good. Once we figure that out, we should be good. I still need a center fielder though. If we don't get ourselves a center fielder, we could definitely be in some trouble. Silver round, we get Aaron Hicks. So that worked out almost perfectly for us. So Aaron Hicks, shortstop, that's Anderton Simmons. And then third base is going to be Sander Bogarts. First base is going to be Luke Voigt. It's a pretty righty. Well, the entire lineup is full of righties, to be honest. So we'll have Sandberg lead it off. So there's going to hit third. Have Gary Sanchez hit second. And then I know that Aaron Hicks is better against right-handers. So I want to put him against someone that can defend him if they do bring in a lefty. So that's going to be Sander and Marcelo Osuna. And then we'll have Anderson Simmons hit eighth. The lineup, it was starting to look like a pretty good lineup. And then towards the end, it just fell off. I could have probably made some different choices to help us out a little bit. But overall, I do believe this is a 12-win team. And I do believe I can get that if the update is true and the fielding is fixed, which I'm playing on the update just in case anybody's wondering, then we should have a fun run. So let's go ahead and get three wins or play a couple of games. So we're entering the party. We're facing the Pittsburgh Nightmares. He has Corey Ray leading it all, followed by Ty Cobb, Barry Larkin. I like his fourth hitter. I like his fifth and sixth. Well, actually, I don't really like his fifth. I'm not too good with Daniel Murphy. So maybe that's just me. But overall, his lineup is not better than ours. He has a bronze starting pitcher on the mound. So this should be fun. How about a curveball on the outside corner? Are you going to chase that? He didn't chase it, but he definitely drove it, to say the least. And Jorge Soler, he locks into that too. So, so far, we've had three defensive plays in terms of fly balls, and all of them have been made. So, it's looking good so far. Change up and slider. That's crushed by Gary Sanchez. Solo shot to start the game off for us. Or not to start the game off, but since he's our second hitter, it's almost like it's starting it off. Welcome to the kingdom, Gary. One thing they didn't fix, although, is the home run glitch. As we hit a ball right back up the middle, that looks like it slapped the infielder right in the face. Easy out. Soler grounds out. So we got a 1-1 count here to Luke Voigt. That was a pitch for me to absolutely drive. Hit it right back up the middle. Get squared up. Not much you can do there. Let's go ahead and get another shutout inning. Now facing Elo Jimenez, I am a little bit more fearful. I don't want to make a mistake. Let's see the play here by Sandra Bogarts. He's a third baseman. And what just happened there? Because I'm not I'm not too positive. Luke Voigt, he plays first base. So Luke Voigt made the error. How weird is that? I never expected to see that, to be honest. Or not that I've never expected to see it, but that's the first time I've ever seen such a thing. Where your third baseman gets a good throw, and then your first baseman is the one that messes it up. I mean, it happens in real life, of course, but it's just the first time I've seen this in the game. I don't fear any man. I'm going to just go right after him, and whatever happens, happens here. And I should have feared him because he absolutely destroyed that pitch. Can we rob it? Can we rob it? I tried to time it. Unfortunately, couldn't. So I regret, you know, not bringing in a reliever. Craig Biggio. We're going to start off Craig with an outside sinker. This is the silver version of him. And he drives it the other way, right in the gap. Should be an easy double. I doubt he can stretch that into a triple, but you never know. With the amount of time it took Aaron Hicks to actually throw that ball in, he does stretch it into a triple. So he's been super early on the previous two off-speed pitches. I'm going with the sinker, and he's going to hit a very hard hit ground ball, probably just laid on it, right to the second baseman for the final out. Luckily for us, Luke doesn't drop that one, or else I would have gotten tilted instantly. 0-2 count here. We got to drive a pitch here. We like that one. We definitely drove it to center field. I think it's catchable, though. So that's a little unfortunate. We go back-to-back -back squared up pitches that are just line outs. 2-2 Two -two count on Marcel. We got to drive a pitch if it's hittable. We got to drive a pitch if it's hittable. Hit it the other way. I'm definitely going. That one's going to hit off the wall. Well, that's a little unfortunate for my opponent. The fielder, I'm not sure if that was user error. I highly doubt it, but the fielder definitely did not pick up that ball. I'm not too scared of Barry Larkin. 
Well, when I miss the pitch, I should be a little bit more scared. Marcelo Zuna locks in instantly. So that's what you wanted to see. That is an improvement that you want to see for sure. 3-1 count. If you can drive it, you drive it. If you can drive it, you drive it. That's down the line. That should be gone. That should be gone. It's going to go ahead. Finish game number one. Ryan Sandberg walks it off. Welcome to the kingdom, big boy. That's what I like to see. So far, on my end, fielding was pretty good. They were locking into fly balls. We had Jorge Soler looking like an actual outfielder. And then we had Marcelo Suna also actually looking like an outfielder, just locking into the ball. So, so far, pretty good on my end. My opponent had a little bit of a fluke trying to pick up the ball in the right field. So it is time for game number two. Let's see who we match up against. So North Carolina Tar Heels. He has Jeff Samarja on the mound. John Moncada, Mookie Betts, Eric Thames. So two righty killers. And then four, five, six, seven, eight. It's good up until six. Then Wilson Ramos, Adam Eaton. They don't scare me as much. But his one, three, definitely do. Let's give Mookie Betts a change up on the outside corner here. Or you can throw it on the inside corner, whichever corner it is that your heart desires to throw it to. Shoot him out at second base. Why would he do such a thing? Let's go. Finally, I get someone back for what's been happening to me nonstop. You guys don't know. I've been getting gunned out at second base almost nonstop, especially I believe it was in this series. And then finally, someone makes the foolish decision to test my cannon. 1-1 one -one count to Ryan Sandberg. Just looking to get on base, drive a pitch, of course. Right down the middle. That should be gone. That's Ryan Sandberg. That's inside the PCI. That is going to be a home run. So, back-to-back at-bats with a solo shot. Ryan Sandberg, welcome to the kingdom. Times two, big boy. That's what I like to see. 3-1 count. Do you walk Soler to face Luke Voigt? I guess that wouldn't be that bad. And he ends up doing that. 2-0 count here. We got to drive one. We got to drive in Soler. We got to drive in Soler. That's all I was telling myself. You got to drive one. Aaron Hicks, welcome to the kingdom. That fastball was right down the middle. I'm not sure if I even moved the PCI. All I know is I turned on that sucker and I said, have a nice day. Jorge Polanco. Let's give Jorge Polanco a change up on the outside corner here. Hopefully he rolls over. And that's what my opponent has been doing this entire game. I don't think he's a bad hitter because he's definitely, I want to say, at least placing the ball on the PCI. But his timing is just not there. So that's currently what's not helping him out. He's probably frustrated. He's going to go ahead and quit out. We advanced to 2-0. And at 2-0, we're going to end this episode since I don't want to make it too long. If you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure to hit that like button and red subscribe button. We are aiming for a surprise me amount of likes, meaning you guys just surprise me with the amount you get. It's basically self-explanatory. Also, turn on that notification bell if you're new. Or if you haven't done so already and have been returning, just turn it on, bro. Come on. Now, or sis, or sis. Now, also, click on the channel, community tab, interact with me there. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at BladeMiss. Like, retweet, favorite, all that good stuff with all of my posts to help the family expand and help me grow in general. And as always, have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. Take care of your family, take care of yourself, wash your hands. And if you're feeling sick, get yourself checked out or quarantine yourself. Love you all and peace out. I did slap myself a little hard right there. <laughs>